As the under-18 season comes to a close, we've been scratching our heads over which under-18s players deserve to line up in our team of the season. So, we turn to our Instagram followers who gave us an answer with a whopping 152,000 votes made over the last week of nomination announcements. I'm Will from Young Rugby and here is our under-18s team of the season as voted by you. 15. Connor Byrne the Harlequin has been electric across the back three for both Harlequins and England, with a standout showing versus Ireland in the last game of the Six Nations. Fast, good step and strong defensively, the Trinity schoolboy has had a superb season in every shirt he's played in. Honourable mentions to Tom Burton and Jack Bracken for also being nominated for the 15 shirt. 14. Tom Humphreys and it's another Harlequin in the back three. A strong showing for England against France back in March is undoubtedly the highlight of what has been an incredibly successful season for the Quinn's co-captain. He scored a plethora of tries in the famous quarters during the under-18s league. Nominations on the right wing went to Sail Sharks flyer Albert Bradshaw. 13. Toby Cousins. You may be surprised to learn that Cousins is still only under 18, considering his impressive rugby CV. Winning the Schools Cup with Oakham this season, as well as making the Prem Rugby under 18s final with Northampton Saints, Cousins has not only represented England at under 18s level, but has also made his under 20s debut in the Six Nations this season, while still being at school. He's already made his debut for Championship side Bedford Blues, and will no doubt go from strength to strength next season. An honourable mention goes to Cam Ellis in the centres. 12. Ben Redshaw Having played across the back line this season, there was always a need to find Redshaw a space in this packed back line. The England under-18s captain, Redshaw has had an impeccable season for Newcastle, Sedba and the national side at 15, 13 and 12 throughout this season. Already contracted at Falcons for next campaign, it's exciting for the North who have another classy utility back on their hands. Shout out to Charlie Mile, who was also nominated in the midfield. 11. Tom Bowen The first Welshman to break the English trend, Bowen has been scoring tries for Cardiff, Clifton College and Wales throughout this campaign. The speedster has been electric across both sides of the border and deserves a place in this team. Nomination also went to Jack Kinder for the left wing. 10. Josh Bellamy Another Quinn slots into this back line. Bellamy has steered the ship at fly half for Trinity, who of course reached the school's cup final. Harlequins at both 10 and 15, as well as England. Sparks of brilliance combined with an added control and well-structured kicking game has brought a further strength to Bellamy's overall game. Nominations for the 10 shirt included Ollie Davis and fellow under-17s in England player Tom Threlfall. 9. Archie McParland Northampton Saint rounding up the backs. McParland has shown immense game control and precision for Stowe, Saints and England, receiving a call-up to the under-19s England squad a year early. Special mention to Yian Davis of Bath and the young Lucas Friday of Harlequins. Number 1. Louis Trevitt into the front row now, which was hotly contested. Clifton and Bristol loosehead Trevitt did get the majority of the votes, though. A dynamic carrier and strong scrummager. Trevitt is arguably the ideal modern loosehead, who has also picked up a contract with Bristol for next season. Ralph McEachran and Isaac Keller were also nominated. 2. Kepueli Tuipilotu this one was slightly less tight. With well over 50% of the votes, the Harrow schoolboy, who has played a lot of eight this season, has impressed considerably in both the front and back row for Irish, Harrow and indeed England, with a man of the match showing against Ireland in the Six Nations. Still only under 17, Tui Polotu seems to be the next big thing out of schoolboy rugby. Shout out to Prem Rugby Under 18's top try scorer this season, Harry Clark, and Newcastle Falcon skipper Jacob Oliver, who were also nominated at Hooker. 3. This was arguably the tightest position in the squad, no pun intended. Brandon Vince, Tyra Mont, both nominated, but they fell just short to Billy Seller. The big frame of the Bath tight head bolstering his way into the starting 15 after an incredibly strong season for Beach and Cliff in the Ace League, reaching the final against Hartbury, as well as his efforts in blue, black and white. But some of his top performances came towards the end of the season in an England shirt, scoring twice in two games during the Six Nations from close range.
Four, Tom Burrow. The Yorkshireman is the first player in this powerhouse second row, captaining Yorkshire Rugby Academy as well as a crucial cog for England this season. Burrow is an honest, hard-working lock with strong talents across the park. 5. Junior Kapoku Another player who got a strong amount of votes, the towering lock led the Finbar charge in the School's Cup, as well as strong showings for Saracens and England. Jack Bennett of Bath and Charlie Moss of Midland Central Academy were also nominated. 6. Reuben Logan The pacey blindside flanker has impressed significantly for Midland Central Academy across the course of the season, so much so he has been handed a Northampton Saints pro contract for next campaign. The Burko back rower has also been a standout for England across the friendlies and Six Nations competition amongst fierce back row competition. Frank Chatterton was also nominated for the sixth shirt. 7. Henry Pollock very little surprise here. The Stowe and Saints flanker has been another level this campaign, captaining England across multiple occasions too, as well as making his senior debut for Northampton, scoring a brace of tries in the process, a special player who will continue to excel heading into adult rugby. Special mention to George Timmins, who was also nominated for the open side position. 8. Another close call between two very opposing players. Both Kane James of Sedba, Falcons and Wales and Lucas Schmidt of Quinns, Epsom and England were both nominated. However, it was the Welshman who came out on top in the end. Electric pace, dynamism. James has scored a phenomenal amount of tries for Sedba, Newcastle and Wales throughout this campaign, grabbing headlines on both sides of the border. Well, that's it for our under-18s team of the season. Let us know who we missed out on in the comments down below. Subscribe to us on YouTube for more content just like this.